Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And hopefully each and every one of you had had a great Thanksgiving day and a special time spent with family and friends. We love you all so much and that's the honest truth. And we really, really, truly hope you had a wonderful day yesterday. Well, we also talked about having every single subscriber over for Thanksgiving. Well, that's something you have to discuss with your mother. Yeah, so we might be doing that next year. If you guys, we could do like a, we could do like a. Did you, did you hear that, babe? We could what? do like a potluck uh, situation. That'll be good. More updates to come. Wow, boy, Woo. I don't want to be you right now. Well, you know me with my spontaneous planning. <laughs> yes, I, I absolutely well, do. You know, yes, you do we do. Have a large home. Perfect. <laughs> and oh. if you would like to entertain. <laughs> I will come over. I'll keep the pool open in November. Let's cut into something else because this conversation isn't going to go well after this. No, hey. it won't. <laughs> a few subscribers in the past asked if we could redo a certain video that we did over a couple years ago, Trenton. And that video was where I was when I was back here by myself and I discussed my favorite whiskeys in the low price range, medium price range and high price range. That was that long ago? That was over two, year, two years ago. Jeez, man. And in preparation for the show, I watched the video trend and it was kind of, I was all over the place. I, I gotta know. watch that. <laughs> no, you don't. It wasn't great. I was like, I was showing, I was all the way from bourbons to Japanese. I had everything coming out. A little diverse. That was crazy. All right. But in thinking about the show, I thought it was a good idea and I thought, you know, I might be able to do this every once in a while. Uh, let the people know what were, you know, certain whiskeys that we're really into at the moment. So what we're going to do today and make it a little bit different is both of us are going to let you know what our low, medium and high price bourbons are that we're into right now. But past that, since I'm really into scotch, I'm going to show you the same in scotch and since, since Trenton is not into scotch. I don't know why, but he's not. He's going to show you his picks for rye whiskeys because that's his big thing too. So, hey, it's it's you know what it sounds to me like what you know what's coming. It sounds like a lot of fun. It always does sound like a lot it of always fun. sounds like yeah. a lot of fun. It might be cool to do it yearly because there's so many new releases yeah. and the palettes change. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, we'll do, do it, it next November too. So Trenton, why don't you start us out? We're going to start with bourbon. You put me on the spot. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot, bud. Start it out with your bourbon. What, what's your low-end bourbon that you're really into? I know that we've talked about this bottle before, and I was trying really hard not to be kind of a little bit redundant with with my choices, but this one's so good I, I couldn't I could not put it up here. We got Early Times Bottle and Bond. <laughs> For the quality of bourbon you're getting, for the it's a liter, so it's a little bit more than a 750, obviously, but it's like 25 bucks. Yeah. It is it is a little bit harder to find in, in certain states. We've gotten a lot of comments about folks that can't find it where they live, but for us, it's it's pretty available. Um, I can probably go into any store, kind of in Northwest Indiana right now, or at least 10 mile radius of where we live, and and pick up maybe even a case of it. So fantastic, you know, quintessential, quintessential it is. bourbon. There's no so. doubt about it. And Trent for twenty five bucks, that's a that's a fantastic pick. And, yeah. and I failed to mention we are trying oh, yeah. to not have anything allocated. Now that doesn't mean it might be a little bit harder for you to find and we apologize for that. Because trust me, we have stuff that's hard for us to find that's easy for you as well. But nothing allocated. And I'm glad you mentioned that. Otherwise, because I would have had Pappy 23, Pappy 25, you Pappy 30 up here, and that's just <laughs> oh those are my God. dailies. Whatever, buddy. So when we get non allocated, so. this is this is where I'm at. No, he's lying. <laughs> All right, my low end, and I couldn't help myself, Trent. It is what it is. For 30 minutes, I tried to talk myself out of it, and I was like, why am I trying to talk myself out of it? It's Wild Turkey 101. For 22 bucks, you got your coffee, your coffee. You hate coffee. Yeah, I know I do. That's not good. You got your toffee, your caramel, and that beautiful oak note that I love yeah. in the Wild Turkey 101. Twenty-two dollars. How can you go wrong with that? What do you got for your medium bourbon? Medium. This medium is, price bourbon. Medium price. This is a new release this year. Um, this is the Smoke Wagon Uncut, Unfiltered. It's around fifty bucks. Um, and I know that Smoke Wagon isn't available in a couple states, but this is my pick right now. I can find it pretty pretty available over here. Um, in Indiana or like cross the border in Illinois. Um, fantastic. It's a little bit younger than the Smoke Wagon Uncut, but with that younger age, you get like this little, like a, a soury kind of twang to it. And it's it's just fantastic. I mean, I can't, I can't say that enough. If you see it, 
don't don't hesitate to pick this bottle yeah. up. It's fantastic. I prefer this bottle over the more expensive uh, Smoke Wagon Uncut and Filter. Yeah, and that's and that's Trenton an opinion that's that's other people don't have, but. Knowing you as much as I do, that doesn't surprise yeah. me at all. That that is right up your flavor profile. Oh yeah, it really Fantastic. really is. That's a good pick. What about you? Great pick. Well, you know me. I've got the old man pick over here. Yeah. John J. Bowman single barrel, and I had to put this in my medium range pick. It's like fifty dollars. It's a hundred proof. The skinny on this is Trenton, and I looked into it because I had. Oh yeah, that's another old term. I had to look into it because people had some comments about this, where it came from and so forth. So all of this is under quote unquote, you know, you know what I mean? It's it's not information that's out there, yeah. but it's information that's out there. Uh -huh. But supposedly this is a Buffalo Trace distillate, their number one mash bill. It's distilled twice at Buffalo Trace and then distilled once again at the uh, Bowman Distillery. Okay. All right. So it is super smooth and I hate to word, use the word smooth but for this one it definitely applies it's caramel it's toffee and it's vanilla and it's creamy and it's delicious it's a very solid pick really really good so I had to go with it John J Bowman single bro all right I'm gonna I'm gonna go one step up to the to the high end and this is one I don't think a lot of people necessarily know about or might see coming but this is the ASW Fiddler Heartwood this is actually a total wine store pick but I have a couple other store picks at home that are just as good, and it, it, it will run you around 80 bucks. And this is a, a distillery in uh, Georgia, and they're doing a lot of cool stuff. This, I mean, with that hot Georgia climate, you get a lot of like molasses, like a fig kind of really uh, viscous palate on that, and mm -hmm. it's fantastic. I mean, it does. It drinks. It's a what is that? 116.4 proof, so it's nothing to it's nothing to scoff at. You're, you might not be chugging this stuff, but for a nice heavy pour or something with fantastic flavor profile and development, this is this is just fantastic. Don't pass these guys up. They're they're kind of a newer distillery, so they might not be everywhere. But check like websites, Reserve Bar, those types of things. They might have some on their seal box, that kind of stuff. They're just fantastic. Don't pass it up. It's really really good stuff. All right. Next for me, I know Trenton was completely surprised because when I picked this off the shelf, he watched me all the way around as I came to the bar. I'm interested to learn more about yeah. this one. And I had to, dude, I had to. What I have here is a Lucky 7 bottle. This is the Lucky 7 proprietor. This is a single barrel. I picked this up, Trenton, remember when we were doing a barrel pick in Kentucky at the uh, bar called Neat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a 14 year, it's the proprietor. I've got barrel 40. Uh, my proof is 119.1. Now this is sourced, and I don't know from where, but I don't really care because yeah, it is good. absolutely delicious. If you guys see any of these Lucky 7 proprietor 14-year single barrels out there, it is absolutely delicious. There are so many wonderful notes in there. I, could, I don't even know where to begin. It's got a perfect oak note, a deep brown sugar, and like a dark raspberry or something like in there too. I could. It's just <clears throat> luscious is the best is the best way I can say it. it's delicious. But it is about 150 bucks. Okay. That that's the kicker. It's about 150 bucks. But this is one that I really didn't mind after I got it home and tasted it. And I was well. Thank God, because yeah. you know how some of those $150 purchases, you're like, really? Seriously? Yeah. This one, though, is like, wow. So that is the high price bourbon that I'm really into right now. Well, that's cool, because I don't have any Lucky 7. I don't think there's any in, in Indiana. So that's kind of cool. If, if we get that or if I'm out and about in a couple different states, maybe I'll, I'll see if I can find one. You can find these at, in Illinois in Benny's. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to, I might pick and, one of those They up. have those over there, for sure. So next we're gonna go on to scotch and rye, but we're gonna clean off the bar top. We're gonna cut real quick so you don't have to hear us bang our bottles around. Clang. All right, we're back. And we are ready for my scotch picks. <laughs> Come on, you're killing me with that stuff. This is like super fun for me because we don't dig into this subject very often. For my low price scotch that I'm really into, I cannot go wrong with naked grouse. Trenton, I you just cannot, can't. I can't. You can't. you can't go wrong with that. It's about 35 bucks. Oh, really? The proof is a little bit lower. I believe it's about 86 proof. However, it is aged in second fill, European and American oak casks, but finished in sherry butts. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Now, this is a blend. I will grant you that, but it is a single malt blend. So, 
it's good quality whiskey. It still has that really nice sweet malty note there, but boy, you really the the fig and the and the jammy notes and the dried fruits in there, delicious. Thirty five bucks. Classic, fantastic. Yeah. My first pick for rye whiskey. This isn't going to be the only Heaven Hill product that I'm touting out today. I think they just do fantastic rye uh, whiskey over Heaven Hill. But I got Rittenhouse. This is a bottle and bond. Um, it'll run you around twenty five bucks. I think this is fantastic, not only for like a neat neat sipper, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not sipping this neat all the time. Um, it's a fantastic mixer, it's a fantastic um, neat pour, and the, the one thing I like most about it is that when I have people come over and they're not super into rye whiskey, this is, this is one thing that I give them uh, before we move on to like the higher, the higher price stuff. Um, I have gotten great results from from giving this to folks that aren't big rye fans. Um, even though that it is, it's pretty rye rye forward, I think. But um, whatever they got going on in this in this bottle is just fantastic. Twenty five bucks, mm -hmm. it's available. Just don't pass it up. Buy it. It's it's yeah. awesome. Extremely versatile. But yeah, that's a good word. Versatile. Extreme wonderful pick. Yeah. All right, for my mid range Scotch, Trenton, I've got a Highland. All right, a Highland single malt, Ball Blair, twelve year. It's like you're speaking Spanish to me, man. <laughs> Well, let me explain it to you. Yeah. Let me just tell you why I really like this Ball Blair 12 here. All right? For one, it's non-chill filtered. There is, it is natural color, okay. which is a big thing in scotch. It just makes it that much better. All right? Another thing I really like about it is the proof point. When I get into this 92 proof point when it comes to single malt scotch, it's got right in my wheelhouse. Really love that 92 proof point. And... It it's just has so many great flavors, and it got a beautiful crisp apple note in there. It's got a little bit of a honey note in there, and it, and it really has a beautiful barley note in there, Trenton. Mm. <laughs> it's That's super nice. Man. 60 bucks, can't go wrong, Ball Blair 12 here. Well, you know what doesn't have a big barley uh, content in it is this, uh, this Pikesville rye here. Uh, this is also coming out of uh, Heaven Hill. It's a six-year-old rye whiskey. It's about 45 50 yeah. bucks. but I will say, as... As this year has gone on, I found it a little bit more difficult to find this bottle, but it is one of my absolute go-tos. If I find it, I'll pick up two or three of them just because they're they're that good. Um, I mean, Heaven Hill. The first, this is Heaven Hill. This is Heaven Hill. They're doing awesome stuff. I don't know if I said this already. It's 110 proof, so it is a rye and it is higher proof. So it's going to drink a little hot. Um, if you're not a huge rye fan, this might not be the be the best bottle uh, to go with, but for those of you that are interested in rye whiskeys or, or really love rye whiskeys, don't pass this up. This is just so good. It is. Another good pick on your part, but they're all good picks on my part. Yeah, so far, but yours? <laughs> <laughs> my last pick, my my high price scotch whiskey that I'm really into right now, Trenton, has only been down here for maybe five days. That would explain a lot. But I've tasted some of it, and I can promise you I'm going to be digging into this puppy the next month or two. Tamdu, batch strength, and I've got batch number four, right? It's about 115 proof. The truth of the matter is I got I had this recommendation when I was watching another whiskey tuber. He is goes under the name First Phil Whiskey. Phil is in the name, P-H-I-L. Oh, that's cool. So First Phil Whiskey. Uh, I don't know much about him. I'm not a buddy of his. It's nothing like that. But I, I like his show because he kind of keeps things on the lighter side, which I enjoy. Yeah. And he's very knowledgeable. And this is one of his favorites right here. So when I saw this at Benny's, you got it. I got it. So <clears throat> this one here is not age stated. So I don't know how old it is per se. But the cool thing is, you ready for this? Yep. The cool thing is, this is aged exclusively in ex sherry casks, and I believe ex oloroso, but exclusively in ex sherry casks. And you know what that means? It's full of flavor, dude. Oh yeah. And batch strength too. I, Phil on his show, uh, his flavor profile, he mentioned his flavor note was Christmas fruitcake all day long, and I second that. That is absolutely correct. That is a beautiful Speyside Scotch whiskey, and I am going to be digging into that big time over the holiday season. Christmas cake isn't good, dude. Well, in this it is. I'll have I'm, to. I'm just. I might try that then. What? Yep. That'd be great. I think you should. Well, it's kind of cool that yours is a sherry kind of finish going on because that's what I have too. I've talked ah. about this before. 
This is the Sagamore uh, Spirit uh, Sherry Finished uh, Rye Whiskey. The, and this this will run you about 80 bucks. I struggled a little bit because Sagamore has been putting out so many good rye whiskeys. I think there's probably seven or eight over there. Um, took me about 20 minutes to figure out which one uh, would be my go-to because I have all of, all of them at home too and I, I grab for each of them pretty much equally. But <clears throat> I love a good sherry finish and this has a fantastic sherry finish. It goes on for, for hours it feels like. And uh, it drinks really smooth. The, the finish doesn't overpower the, the rye content too much. Um, it's maybe a little bit heavy on the, on the sherry finish, but I really like it. And it's just, it's so good. What's the proof on this? This is uh, 106 proof and it's just, it's fantastic. 80 bucks, so a little bit on the higher price side, but if you're not into Sag, if you're a big rye fan and you're not into Sagamore Spirit Rise yet, you're missing out on a, on a bunch. Don't, don't miss out on those, those uh, bottles from Sagamore. Absolutely not. Good job on your part, dude. Proud of you, man. All your picks were fantastic. Mine were just a touch better. I wish I could say that yours were good. But yours were good, too. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, that's all, we, that's all we got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, in the comments, let us know what yeah. you're... But what are you into right now? We'd love to know. In the same price ranges, too. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. Hey, we love each and every one of you. Appreciate you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with... Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.